Morning to Northern Michigan. We'll take a look at your forecast. Now, we did have some rain showers move through overnight, but we are seeing those exit the area and behind that, you can definitely tell it's a cold front that touched those off because of temperatures. Here's a look around the region right now and here's that warmer air coming up from the south. It's been keeping us in such mild temperatures this morning. 63 right now in Indianapolis, 45 here in TC, 30s along right where the front is, 34 in both Minneapolis and Des Moines this morning. However, back behind Behind that cold front, you can see that cooler air just entering the forecast area here. 11 degrees this morning in International Falls, 19 over in Bismarck. And we are starting to see this cooler air filter its way in as this cold front pushes its way across the area. In fact, temperatures have dropped in some areas about 10 degrees already this morning. We're going to see them continue to drop as we go throughout the day today. Here's a look at Stormcast. There's those rain showers again. They really exit the area, and as we get into our afternoon hours, we see more of that sunshine. Now, the further south you are, the more sun you'll see. The further north you are, the more cloud cover you'll see, and we also bring in a chance of some scattered snow showers right around dinner time or so as you're headed home from work today in the eastern EP. Those first rounds of snow showers touch their way off. And then as we go overnight, you can see those lake effect locations see a little bit more of those snow showers. Now, lower peninsula, we're talking maybe half an inch if that. UP could be talking an inch or two, so not a lot to worry about, but don't be surprised if you have to brush off your car in the morning. Now, by 7 o'clock or so on your Wednesday morning, things really die out. We see a lot of sunshine all across the area throughout the entire day. And get out and enjoy it because really for the rest of the seven day forecast, we have a lot of cloud cover. We do see clouds increase as we head into our Thursday. Here comes our next system. And by the time that we reach our early afternoon hours, we see that system really enter the area. So we touch off the first rounds of some showers, a little bit of wintry mix and scattered snow possible on Thursday afternoon. And then as we get into Thursday evening, you can see that system starts to push its way across the area and it will continue to do so as we enter our Friday. Here's a look at your marine forecast because of winds out of the west today at 10 to 20 miles per hour, seeing gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible. We do have a gale warning that's in effect for Lake Superior until 7 o'clock tonight. We also have a small craft advisory in effect for all of our near shore waters. Now, this time depends on where you're located. The latest one ends at 5 o'clock on Wednesday evening, but if you are headed out on the water, you want to make sure and check your local area for what time that advisory ends. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and the most sun we'll see really is today into our Wednesday. There's that chance of some snow showers that will really touch off in lake effect areas for the northern areas. And then we do bring in wintry mix later Thursday. Chance of it again on Friday despite seeing a little sunshine. And then as we head towards the weekend, we keep a lot of cloud cover around. Highs remain in the 30s, lows in the 20s. And we keep that chance of wintry mix as we enter the next work week. Thanks for clicking at upnorthlive.com.